Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Beholder. I rewound the game again, uh, back to before we gave that bomb, because I don't want to do uh, his stupid bed bugs, so I'm going to exterminate them with the phone. I just figured it'd be a good way to do that. And also I can give off the statue before it's destroyed. Uh, refuse. Wait, where's my love potion? Aren't I supposed to get that? Oh, he needs something that belongs to her. Okay, right. Let's go give my kitty cat something. We make a call. And the main reason I did this is because I want my reputation points. Because I... Um, right. Comrade Hemp. And then we'll also call... Hello, I'd like to request the help of a specialist. There are bed bugs in the apartment building located on this street. The experiments are on their way and will arrive soon. So now I only need to get 300 or 250 reputation points instead of like a million because I wanted to get the skeleton one. It's so loud. Dum -dum. as I make it longer. Okay, let's just fast forward through fuck there we go. Fancy meeting you here. Ask about the statue. Hector would like to see you, it's become blah blah. You're welcome, it was my pleasure. Let's go talk to that lady. Get her a purse back. Wait, 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 what, what? Oh, okay, right, that's an exterminator. I was like, what the hell is that guy doing? Why? I thought something happened to our murderer. That was not the case. Where did our murderer go? He's right there, okay. Um... Let's see, do, do I have people to turn? I do. Let's go do that right now. Maybe I'll get some reputation points that away. We've done this before on camera, but that's okay. Okay, we'll start with Maria. She lives in apartment one. She's a ladies. She lives with Klaus. Oh, this lad is still alive. Or hasn't been hit by a car yet. <laughs> She's a literary teacher. I didn't realize I went back that far, but there we have it. Oh, no. <laughs> she is a... Uh... I'm a good person. I'm a good person. He's an economist. I think that means my bed bugs are gone. Was what that noise means. Oh, that didn't give me reputation points. That's sad. Good afternoon. Blah blah blah. Talk about the crime. Hello. Ask about her work. I don't remember how we get... Reputation points, I don't remember now. 
So we're going to go get that bone fragment for this one. And then... Oh, I, I haven't given him the things yet. That's why. I'll go give him... Fragments that we can carry it around. <gasps> Come on, guy. There we go. Hi, con. Oh, I still haven't talked to this guy. We, uh... Nope. There we go. Give this victim to your victim. I wonder what she'll do now that she doesn't have the thing to smash, though. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I need to find Klaus. Where the hell is he? I think he went to work. Did he go to work? I don't remember if I've gone through other stuff, so... I don't think I have because I keep getting interrupted by the stupid kid. Yeah, see? <gasps> see? Keep getting interrupted by the stupid kid. Yes, we're sorry. Let's go. She's not down here. Where'd she go? There she is. Persuade her to drink the love potion. Okay, that's fine. Wonder what she'll do now. Oh. Oh, she's in love with the state. <laughs> Talk about George. I broke up with him. How could I have been so blind? He's a saboteur. Did you see that disgusting statue he made? You broke up with him. It's like scales fell from my eyes and I was able to see him for who he is. He calls himself an artist. Ha! He's just a talentless hack who's wasting his time on trifles. Only smokers are more disgusting. They ruin their health instead of preserving it so they can serve their motherland. I understand now why all men are brutes and misogynists. What are you talking about? I used to think I'd ever love again. Then all of a sudden it dawned on me. You must love yourself and your country, not some primate who calls himself a man. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can to ensure the voices of the forgotten women of this country are heard. Tomorrow, I'm going to apply for a job at the manufacturing plant. I will strive for equal rights and respect for every woman. It seems the balsam affected you differently than I was expecting. What are you mumbling about? Can't you speak clearly? I guess that's just one more thing that proves men are women are superior to men. The woman must be in control of all of her faculties. <laughs> Have you heard of the wise leader who freed the musicians who stayed abroad for an extra day? He shouldn't have done that. He should have imprisoned the traitors instead. My heart bleeds when I think about the people who spend their lives trying to produce sounds from different objects. I would have given them axes and saws instead of musical instruments. These lazy bums would have been more useful if they were harvesting lumber. <laughs> that's funny. Knock, knock. Oh, that's my kitty? Yeah, my kitty wants food. That's fine. Oops, let's go confront. Uh, I guess we can't. I guess we'll go talk to George. Where's my cat going? Provide the cat's food. I don't think anyone can move in either, so I don't know if it's worth kicking them out. I think she's moving out. Let's, nope, let's go talk to Klaus. Give him the things I want. I 
Everyone's so happy, 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 happy. I want to go through your stuff. I don't remember if I've gone through everything or not. Oh, that's so loud. <gasps> Hopefully I'll remember to turn it down. Okay, I guess maybe I have gone through everything now. <gasps> Oopsie. Sorry! Bad girl. I hate that guy. Hmm? Knock, no, knock, knock. Alright, oh, I have bills to. Oh no, I don't. I guess I paid it. Talk about Jenny. What happened between you two? I turned into a wild tigress. She was divinely beautiful in her rage. She said she, I was a more. Blah, 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 blah. She said I'm a worthless, miserable citizen of this great nation, and carried on her about her love for her country, for her work. I didn't understand any of it, Hector. The potion you mentioned should have set her heart on fire, flowing with love for me, not the state. She left while saying that she won't be back. I'm very sorry, George. I have no reason to stay here anymore. I have money, but no muse, and therefore no inspiration. Love fades as we part. I think I'll have to go away soon, Hector. I don't care where. I just need to get away from this place where everything reminds me of her. I have to regret what we once wished for. Aww. Poor the guy. Oh, if he's leaving his house, I don't think I've gone through his crap at all. Nope, he's not leaving. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, so... Uh, uh, I wish you would leave because then. I don't know. Oh, I still haven't gone through their place that much. Uh, click, 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 click. Okay. How <laughs> we missed her getting run over again. Slada new. Come on, Klaus, stop talking about the weather. Your daughter's dead. No, oh, I'm such a heartless person. Talk about the incident. I heard your daughter was run over. That's terrible. How is she? Not well. But I'm positive Klaus will find the money we need to pay for her surgery. I don't even want to think about him failing. Hmm. Oh, I still have so much to get back. Ah. Okay. Up here. Okay, it's empty. Unlock, please. I know I didn't go through everything in this house. That's fine. As long as everyone else stays out of my hair. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Stay away, Louisa. It's for your best. Oops, nope, nope, nope. Right over here.
very, very good. I'm so scared that they're just gonna come in. Not that anything will happen. Just, I wanna finish the place. I need more of that. Oh, there he goes. He's leaving. I wanna steal the gun. Just cause I can. Nobody wants to move into your building. Oh no. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. That's what he wants. Can't promise anything, but I'll try, right? already looked at that one. That one's done. And this one's about Aloysius Spock. Who is the doctor? Kitty witty. Have some food. Okay, so let's go look at the phone. Run. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll discuss her real parentage. We will have them go on a date this time instead of what's his face losing his job. She said she'd do anything for her little girl, so. What else do we got here? Dial the number. So, yeah, I want. We'll discuss the euthanasia just to get it done with. Look. And no one wants to move in? Oh! Alright, this is the BDMS couple! Let's move you guys in. Kinky, kinky! Where? You're right here. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Ask about his profile. I have something to tell you, Maria, but I don't know how. Did you find Slada's parents? No, but I'm getting close. There's a problem, though. Bruto can't pass the information we need, but he wants you to pay for it. How much does he want? It's not a matter of how much, it's a matter of what. I can't even think of a way to tell you this, you being a lady and all. He, well, say no more. I know what you mean. What else could he possibly expect from that lustful jerk? He wants to get laid like last time. Well, in general, you're right. He'll be waiting for you in the same place that he was last time. Don't look at me like that, Hector. The last time I had to. For Klaus. I couldn't stand to see him withering anymore, aching so badly to have a child. I didn't want our marriage to fall apart. And that fat bastard started groping me at that charity reception where Klaus and I met. I hate that swine. Oh, he was ecstatic. He, how ecstatic he was when I came to him begging for help. His cheeks were flapping in anticipation. <laughs> Maria, you don't have to tell me. Shut up, Hector. Slada's presence in our life has cleaned me of every aspect of dirt that soiled me as I did what I had to do. Love erases every sin committed for the good of a child, including both past and future transgressions. Tell him I will do what he wants. I ask you one more thing, Hector. Please don't tell my husband about this. He's far too sensitive to survive it. I will not tell him. Because that shit is awful. Dial them number. Bruno, I told Maria about your offer and she agreed. Wonderful, my dear Hector. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Comrade him. what about the information I requested? What information? Don't play stupid. You know what you promised to tell me those Lada's real parents are. Lower your voice. You'll get the details tomorrow. I'm not in the mood to work today. I need to go get champagne and fruit. Dirty little mans. I don't know where you're going, though. I guess I should, uh... Not be going in your apartment this late at night. That's okay. Huh? 
There we go. I did it. Actually, I wonder, is he in his house? Yep. Well, pause. In any case, this is a good spot to end this episode. Um, I'm going to be playing through the rest of this game until I die. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and this one's sitting today. Um, so that there's no continuity errors and no rewinds like I just did. But So until next time, I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.